be talking about the pros and the cons between these two axles. Now to be honest with you, there's not a whole lot uh, a difference between these two axles. They do the same thing and they are pretty much similar in design. You can actually change these U-joints at your house, yourself. All you need is a hammer, an anvil, you can even use a vise. It's better to have a vise, but you can do this. I've actually done this with a rim before, a steel rim. Don't recommend that, but you it can be done. These are not too hard to maintenance. You can actually get the ones with the grease fittings in it. Take a lot more abuse than the CV joint. Now the cons to this axle is when you get in a sharp turn, your vehicle will start to get in a bind. And I'm sure you guys have felt this on, uh, on a hard surface trail, or maybe if you had your Jeep in full drive in the snow, you'll feel it like hop. Well, this is because this is binding up. It's not really meant for, see how it just kind of binds and wants to hop? It's not meant for like sharp turning applications. So when you have a locker in the front and you're turning on rocks, it's not very good to have it on full lock. So that is a downfall with this axle. I've seen the U-joints break before. I've seen the caps just break before. Now if you break this piece, this piece will cost you around maybe 50, 60 bucks. I don't keep up with that stuff. Uh, I just buy it if I gotta buy it. This is what you call the outer piece. Now this is the driver's side axle, it's, it's shorter. And this is the inner piece. This will cost you a couple hundred bucks, maybe a hundred bucks. This is the cheap side when it comes to the U-joint axle. Now, remember, your passenger side is 10 times longer than this and will cost you more money if you are out on the trail and you bust this ear or bust the inner ear, it will cost you more. So that is the downfall of a U-joint axle. And if you bust this on the trail, say you bust one of these just one side and it starts binding up you can't drive it home you either have to finish busting it off which I don't recommend doing or jacking it up and going ahead and changing it out now the CV joint a lot of people are using this in the Jeep community right now because they love it for one you can uh, put these babies in a bind and there's no hopping on your vehicle it's a smooth transition when you're turning now, these will take abuse if you get the the better ones you can't just walk into advance and get like the cheapest one that are probably refurbished and expect them to hold up to abuse. That's what a lot of people do and they're like, well, CV joints are junk. My buddy's running these with 33s and he has no problem. He's not changed them in a whole year. He likes it because if he busts an axle on the trail, you can actually drive this home because it just busts in here and you're good to go. You can drive it home. That's another, another pro with the CV joint axle. They are cheap to replace. Like I said, they're... You can replace these bad boys from anywhere, I think from 60 to 70 bucks or maybe even 80. And you don't have to worry about the outer or the inner, you buy the whole piece. Downfall of this axle, there's nowhere to grease this at all. This is all enclosed. This has a band here and this has a band here. And it keeps it from coming off the axle. So it keeps water out. But the downfall is you can punch, punch holes in this boot. Uh, tear the boot when you're off-road a stick could get in there or a rock and tear the boot and it lets water in And you can't really do anything about it. And there's no greasable uh, No greasable fitting on these whatsoever once it's dry. It is dry. There's no grease in it. No nothing That is a downfall Now in my opinion these will not take a is these will not take as much abuse as the u-joint style axle just from experience, I've seen a lot of guys blow these out because, you know, sometimes we get into some hard wheeling situations and the CV joints just won't do it after they get in a bind. Yeah, they get they have a smooth transition when they're turning, but when you get them in a bind, they tend to bust a lot easier than the U-joint axles. I'm not saying these don't bust. They do bust in a bind, but these are a lot stronger. What you want to run, it's all up to you. I'm just here showing you the difference between the CV joint axle and the U joint axle. Me, I'd rather run the U joint style because that's just me. I've been running them. You know, your Cherokees come with the U joint style and your Grand Cherokees come with the CV joints. Now, you can put U joint styles in your Grand Cherokee if you want, if you want to go to a U joint style. So, for your Grand Cherokee guys, I do know that because I used to own a Grand Cherokee and I put U joints in it because I kept popping. CV joints. I had it for a couple months and that was it. I got rid of the Grand Cherokee. Just I don't get much into the Grand Cherokee. I know a couple people ask me about it, but 
I don't, I've never really messed much with them, so I really can't answer a lot of questions uh, about a WJ or a ZJ. I'm more of a Cherokee guy. But if you want to put CB joints in your Cherokee, you can do that too. So these two swap. Keep that in mind if you want to have a Grand Cherokee with U joints and you're sick of popping CB joints or vice versa. It's all on who you are and what you want to run. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. I got Jeep builds. I got Jeep vlogs. I got mechanic stuff. I got reviews. I got head to heads. I got, you know, all kinds of stuff. So make sure you subscribe down below. Hit the little bell if you want to see every time I upload a video. It'll give you a little notification. Social media is down below. Make sure you stay tuned for better videos because I'm getting ready to put the rear end under the uh, Project Jeep. I'm having a problem locating locating the uh, Chrysler eight and a quarter U-bolts. I cannot find them anywhere around here. Nobody can order them. So I guess I'm gonna have to order them online and whoop de doo But I should have a video coming here in a couple days or maybe next week or this Friday or Thursday on changing doors on a Cherokee and how to convert them stupid uh, star head uh, bolts to regular bolts. But I'm Cherokee Ronnie. Stay dirty, my friends. <laughs>